Hello. Okay. Looks like it's that time again. Look great. And before I start, I feel like I need to explain what's going on here. Oh, yes. There's a couple reasons for my rather spooky attire. Number one being, this Loot Crate box is October's Loot Crate box. I know it's very unusual to be opening October's box now, but bear with me. I'm still trying to catch up on my Loot Crate boxes. But the second reason is, because it's still the Christmas week, I thought this would be rather fun because I thought this was very Nightmare Before Christmas. You know, it kind of ties in Halloween and Christmas. Why not? Although it's not particularly festive. What can I possibly do to make it more festive? I know. Boom. <laughs> I think this works for Nightmare Before Christmas, doesn't it? Then it gets to tie October in with Christmas. Why not? It's a stretch, I know, but just go with it for me. <laughs> there is a massive third reason as well, because this beautiful suit is... <sighs> I love it so much. This suit is by Oppo Suits, and oh my god, I wanted to wear one for Halloween. I wanted to have it in a Halloween video, but I never got a chance to do it, because unfortunately I altered it a little bit late, and it didn't get into it after October, so I'm kind of just showing it off now, but isn't it beautiful? Just saying. I'm going off on a tangent, but yeah, just, just admire how pretty this is. I think I'm going to be using these suits in a few different videos as well because they are so cool. And I feel like I need to be clear this video isn't sponsored by Oppo Suits, I just really wanted to show it off. Actually, to give me another excuse to buy a few more, I'll pop a link in the description bar below. Check out their website. If there are any on there you think I should do a makeup with, please let me know because I just need another excuse to buy more. <laughs> But getting back onto topic, if you've never seen my Loot Crate unboxings before in the past, I'll quickly sum up what these boxes are all about. These boxes come to your drawer every month. They are full of random toys, games, happy things, a t-shirt, maybe a mug, that kind of thing. Just things to make your inner geek happy. And every month I unbox these completely brand new. They're completely sealed. I don't know what's inside them at all. I just like unboxing it for you guys so you guys get to see it like brand new for the first time with me. And everything inside this box is centered around one particular theme. The theme for October's box was mystical which I'm proper intrigued about, because I have no idea what that could entail. That could be anything, anything that rolls around magic. Who knows? Just part of the fun. And hang on a minute, I just realized I was holding up the wrong Loot Crate. That was November's Loot Crate. This is October's Loot Crate. Oh my God. <laughs> Good start! This is what happens when I receive too many loot crates and I'm trying to catch up as quickly as possible. I'm mixing them up, because they don't actually say anything on the outside, so I wouldn't actually know what box it is. I had to go by the serial number, so I'm pretty sure this is October. If you guys watched the last two Loot Crate videos that I did, it basically explained that I was trying to catch up because I went for about six months without opening Loot Crate boxes, and now I'm kind of just opening a lot to try and catch up with that. I hope that's okay. So, with all of that said, all of that nattering on, Let's open this, because I love Halloween and I have anything magical, so I'm hoping there's some spooky magical stuff in here. Okay. So, as I said, I'm not looking. Ha ha. There we go. So the first thing I'm going to grab is going to be the t-shirt if I can find it, because there's always at least one t-shirt with Luke Crate boxes, and I love their t-shirts. So this feels very t-shirty. I'm still not looking. Okay, ready? I'll let you guys see it first, as always. Bloop, bloop. What does it look like? Is it good? So far, it's a black t-shirt, and that makes me happy. Black printed tees are the most slimming, I think. Ha ha. It's Ghostbusters! It's Ghostbusters! Okay. Oh my god. Oh wow. Oh wow. This is actually, I think, my most favourite shirt I've ever got from Loot Crate, ever. I'm not even exaggerating. Look at that. I am a massive, massive Ghostbusters fan. Like, you've no idea. I don't think I've ever spoke about that, to be honest, because I, I, used, I, I grew up on the original films, I grew up watching the cartoon series, and I think I'm one of the few, for some reason, I don't know why people say such bad things about it, that really loved the, you know, the reboot of Ghostbusters. I thought it was brilliant. Obviously, it's not going to beat the original, but I just thought it was hilarious and wonderful. But I am loving the pink and purple hue to it as well. Proper 80s style. I love that. Oh, I'm really annoyed because I want to wear this now, but I'm not taking off this suit. This suit is beautiful. I think I'm just going to live in this suit for the rest of my life. But how beautiful is that? That has proper impressed me. Fantastic. The rest of the stuff in this box can just go home now. I think I'm done happy with just the t-shirt, to be honest. But ready? Next. Okay, we have a box. So straight away I see Marvel, always good. And we have, oh, oh, he's going to be, oh, he's so cute. It's a mini Thor and Loki fighting. Let's open this up and have a look. Oh, it's a really mini Thor and Loki fighting. Oh, hang on, hang on. Oh, it's in loads of pieces. Okay, so at the bag, we've got this. So that's really odd. So we've got a little stand, as you can see here, and we've got these. So you can see the heads are not really in proportion. They're tiny, tiny little bodies. Look how teeny tiny. Really teeny tiny. Well, that's adorable. Okay, let's put this together then. Oh, shut right up. That is far too adorable. <laughs> look how cute. Look, proper animated, but look at him. Look how cute, and they're so sweet. That's proper precious, I love it. I'm a massive Marvel fan, so this makes me very happy. I mean, I do like DC as well, but Marvel is obviously, well, I say obviously, but for me, it kind of wins. I just can't get over their teeny tiny little bodies in proportion to their head. It's fantastically cute. Boop, boop. Hmm. Next, a 
another big box, a really big box. It's a weird shaped box anyway, this little crate, because usually they're a lot longer than this rather than deep. But okay, so next thing we have is boo. So what is this? Oh, Stranger Things. Oh, that's a little bit adorable. I'm not really sure what this actually could be though. Is it gonna be a, it doesn't say, is it gonna be a, like a little statue again or? Fair enough. Well, since I last opened a Loot Crate box, since we last got something that was Stranger Things, which I think was a little while ago, I had never watched Stranger Things. And as of today, I've seen all of season one and I think I'm halfway through season two, so I'm catching up. But I can honestly say it's fantastic. But it just says 11 versus a Demogorgon. So it's rather intriguing. So let's open it really posh for some reason you have to be 17 or older to be able to own this okay so it is a statue or rather like a little diorama thing oh my god wow look at that so how do we put this together i'm a little bit confused we've got this this does it just kind of oh it's lots into okay okay i got it i got it okay well bloody hell look at that this is proper like a spoiler alert i'm really sorry for this but it's like the finale of season one look at that and you can't really tell let me just pick her up and show you if you look at little 11 she's proper detailed i'm not sure how much of that you can see because it's quite bright but she's even got a little nosebleed look oh and she's so sad as well because it's just she knew that it was going to kind of like sacrifice her oh i'm so sad I had a proper little grizzle at that moment, but look at the Demogorgon, look at him. And yes, I will be doing a makeup tutorial for him at some point, don't worry. You know, a lot of people keep asking me to do it, I will do one. But look at that, that is wonderful. This is absolutely so far one of my favourite crates, blimey. I mean, every now and again, you get one crate that's so particularly special, that it just blows all the other ones out of the water, and that's just fantastic. This is one of them things that's going to go on my desk because you can't see, but around my desk I've got Five Nights of Freddy's plushies, I've got Rick and Morty, and I've got all, all plushies of my favourite things basically, and this is going to go right in with them. Bravo, Loot Crate. And then next, to be honest, I think we probably won't be much left considering how good these items are. I don't think there'll be much more. We've got... Okay, hang on. Yeah, okay, I think that's it. We've got... Oh, hold on, no. Oh, we've got Buffy! Why have we got Buffy? Don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm ecstatic that we've got something that's Buffy, but hang on. Look at that! I, I don't care what it is. I, I haven't even read it. I don't care it's Buffy. I'm a... <sighs> Buffy and me. I grew up on Buffy. I'm a massive Buffy fan. Willow all the way. That's what I need to do a dark Willow um, makeup at some point, but look at that. So it's a bookmark. Okay. So it's Mr. Pointy Bookmark. <laughs> well, that is proper, proper random, but I love it. I'm a big reader, so it'll come in handy. I'm, I'm, to be honest, it just didn't need to be in there. I'm already really happy with this box. But to have something that's Buffy is insane. So this, I mean, all this, all this box is missing is something by Rick and Morty, and I think I would lose my mind. <laughs> well done, Loot Crate. Knocking it out of the park this month. And then the final things we have is the Loot Crate pin, because just they always make a pin to commemorate the month. And again, this is pretty damn cool looking. So we've got this, which I think might be one of the rarer ones, because if they're coloured, I think they mean they're quite special. But yeah, that's stunning. So that's for October 2017, Mythical. And we also have the Loot Crate book, which explains everything that's in the crate and a little bit more about some of the stuff that's in there. So we've got like the Buffy bookmark, into each generation a Slayer is born. Wonderful. And we've got about Loki and Thor. And for some reason, we've got something. Oh, 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 okay. No, no, I'm not, I'm not gonna show you that. I'm not gonna show you that because I'll show you what it. Right, this is the next thing. So, this is actually gonna make me really, really happy as well. They've done this once before. So, loot crate boxes, aside from being a loot crate box, turn inside out to become something else. Usually, it's a diorama, but lately, they've been making things that turn into something. This is one of those exceptions. This is gonna be awesome. Bear with me. So, I'm just gonna turn this inside out and show you what this becomes. So, are you guys ready for this? Boom. It's only bloody Thor's hammer. That's bloody fantastic, look at that. I love it when their boxes become a prop. I mean, as you guys know, I'm not a massive fan of cutting the boxes up because I like to keep things intact, but this is one of the exceptions. The only other time they've done this is when they made Harley Quinn's hammer, which is equally as fantastic, but look at that. That's so fantastic, I love that. What a great way to repurpose the box. I've got Thor's hammer. I've always wanted to hold Thor's hammer, euphemism or not. <laughs> That's awesome. Well done, Loot Crate. And there we go. So that's October 2017's Loot Crate video. And I have to say, this is by far one of my most favourite, favourite Loot Crates. This is just awesome. I'm, I've got all my stuff spread around me. I'm just so happy. I mean, the two favourite things, obviously, is going to be the amazing Ghostbusters t-shirt. I'm going to wear that as soon as I'm done with this video because it's fantastic. But obviously, this, look at that. I can't stop looking at it. There's so much detail has gone into it. I really hope there's like a set where we can have them all along, like scene by scene. Wouldn't that be cool? I love it when everything in the box comes together. It's so cool. This is the first time in a while that I've loved every single thing almost equally, which is just, ugh. So I'll stop flapping because this tends to happen when I get overexcited, but if you wanted to collect Loot Crate for yourself, I'll pop a link on the screen right here. 
That link will take you straight to my Loot Crate page where you can get it for yourself if you want to. The link will also be in the description bar below. And at checkout, if you pop in the code PINKSTYLIST, you'll get 10% off your orders, which is pretty fantastic, I think. But as I always, always, always say, you absolutely don't have to collect Loot Crate for yourself. You can just come back to my videos every month and watch me unbox mine because you guys know I absolutely love doing it and it's just so much fun. And I love reading your comments about everything that's in the boxes. And if I get something that I don't 100% understand, I love it when you guys can explain everything about it and just makes me happy. But if you wanted to collect it for yourself, the link's there. So thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and a massive, massive happy holidays to everyone out there. And yeah, so until next time, bye guys.